After the interview, Robin decides to sit down and reflect on what happened, recognizing that things didn't go as anticipated. Robin recognizes that this is a critical moment where she can either learn from the experience or ignore it and hope it won't happen again. Just then, her supervisor Karen walks in. Hello, Robin. How are you? Oh, hi, Karen. Oh, things could be better. Oh, what do you mean? Um, well, I had that meeting with Mrs. Silva, as we discussed, mm -hmm. and let's just say the interview didn't go as planned. Oh, tell me what happened. Um, well, for starters, she left, and she was pretty upset. Mm -hmm. And I, I guess the interview was very difficult for her, but... I really didn't pick up on that. And I just kept on asking questions for my assessment. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And then what happened? Well, she stormed out, basically. Mm -hmm. And like I said, she was really upset. And now I'm here, so. And uh, have you thought about the experiences on things you can do differently? Um, well, y yeah. Uh, I learned that I can't push too hard mm -hmm. and that there's a lot more to interviewing than gathering information. Right. Um, and I definitely need to build trust and rapport with clients. And that's probably going to take a bit of time. And um, I probably should have listened to her better and picked up on like her body language a bit more. I, I realize now that she was very agitated and I was probably contributing to that. So. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a tough situation for any student to go through, but I see that you've taken the appropriate steps to rethink the situation and pull yourself together um, and examine some of the things that you could have done differently, and that's great. Um, you've looked at changing your approach, um, perhaps you picked up onto her body signals, mm -hmm. and you've also reflected and, and thought about that the interview process is, like you said, not just an easy an easy thing to do and that you have to engage in that therapeutic relationships and that is very amazing.